We are now ready to rough the Nike part. We have all of our bracing and our reference geometry in place, so we're ready to apply some OptiRough tool paths. So here we can see we're starting from a large piece of stock. We're running OptiRough tool paths from the top plane and then from the right plane with this stock model resulting. We then come from the back with one more stock model and we're left with this large corner of material we need to get rid of. By default, if I create an OptiRough toolpath in the left plane, this is the result. This looks perfectly sensible. It's a good OptiRough toolpath. We would certainly run it. However, if we turn on the stock model, we can see we have a series of air cuts. If I open back plot, so as the tool breaks through this bottom area of stock, there's really no reason to have all these extra step downs in open space. In fact, if we look at the length of this toolpath, Mastercam is estimating just about 18 minutes of cycle time for this one toolpath to run. Now, Mastercam has some new tools that are really gonna help clean up this toolpath, and it's as simple as checking one single box. Since this is a toolpath that is rest roughing, we are using a stock model to trim the roughing motion. By default, OptiRough doesn't know if there's an air gap underneath your stock model, and that's why we see that waterfall effect of the tool dropping down in open space. In Mastercam 2023, we introduced the Detect Undercut Stock checkbox. Just by simply toggling that on in this case, we can trim all these air cuts below the stock on the front of the part and in the wing. The resulting stock of running this toolpath or the Detect Undercut Stock toolpath is going to be the exact same thing. Detect Undercut Stock breaks through and removes all the following air cuts. If I open back plot on this toolpath, let's check out the back plot runtime. Mastercam's estimate is just over 12 minutes. So we go from 18 minutes down to 12 minutes at the machine just by toggling on one checkbox. This detect undercut stock checkbox was invaluable on the Nike project because this part is full of hidden undercuts. However, I found that I didn't need to use that in every single case because sometimes the added regen time of detect undercut stock didn't balance out how much time it did save. In the case of this toolpath, we're saving 33% of time at the machine, so I definitely want to use Detect Undercut Stock.